How important is friendship in your life? I ask. So important, she says. One of the reasons I wrote this book was because I would not be here today without my friends and family. My closest friends, the people I call my dearest friends, are like my family. They've helped bring me up. I stop being aware of the fact we only have a few miles left to finish the interview. I'm losing sense of time because I'm enjoying talking to Kara. This fascinating complex, real person. What do you think is the most difficult aspect of growing up, going from girl to teen to woman I ask? Which do you think is the worst stage, if there is one she replies when you're in it, every moment feels like it's the hardest. When you look back, it seems like it was easier. It's difficult to appreciate because there's so much going on in terms of hormones and pressure as a teen. So much pressure and that's what I wanted to capture in the book. With social media, and the pressure of having to be perfect, you're just trying to find your identity. The pressure of that is huge. I wonder what has been the trickiest stage for her to navigate. She exhales, as if she's been holding her breath for a long time. Shakes her head. I mean, I am so lucky, man. I'm living my dream right now. So far I've had an amazing, incredible life, experiencing so much. I don't know. Probably a teenager, especially with school and not giving yourself a break. And not asking for help, or saying, I'm really struggling. That was the biggest lesson I had to learn to communicate my emotions properly. I'm still learning how to do that. Was there no one she could talk to and turn to? It felt like I was completely alone and I couldn't express myself because I felt ashamed of my emotions. I want to make sure kids realize that emotions and vulnerability are important and should be spoken about. We're alone, but we're all in this together. We're all humans, going through the same things. This is a woman who has spent a lot of time in the public eye. I want to know what it is about that experience that has helped her understand what these kids are going through. She takes her time answering this question, her brow furrowed. When you're a teenager, you're looking for someone to idolize. Seeing the effect people like me have on teenagers now has really made me conscious of kids having strong, positive role models who are trying to do good outside of themselves. I think about the teens I hear from daily on social media, the ones struggling in silence, and I suspect that Kara sometimes is struggling, too. Then I ask her what makes her feel empowered. It really can be anything, big, small, insignificant, profound. Being alone or going for a walk by myself, writing or just doing things for other people. Helping people. You can find things that empower you in everything. It's just about being in the moment and being yourself. You can't think about being empowered, it's a feeling that comes from inside. Getty Image Scara says she's pretty comfortable in her own skin. Accepting that is an everyday process, she says. It's about loving yourself, making sure that you've taken time to respect yourself. It's about not blaming yourself for everything. When you're a teenager, you're looking for someone to idolize. Seeing the effect people like me have on teenagers now has really made me conscious of kids having strong, positive role models who are trying to do good outside of themselves. What is the message she wants readers to take from Mirror? Mirror that life is a beautiful mixture of wonderful disasters, but to truly love yourself is so important. Sometimes, you won't be able to go to someone, so you need that strength in yourself to know that you can carry on and be alright. To know that you can reach out and talk to other people. There are misunderstandings and things go wrong, but don't judge people. Try to understand each other, and try to see where other people are coming from. And it's at that moment, perfectly timed, that we roll into the car park of Laurel Canyon Country Store. This is where Kara and I will say goodbye. The ride has gone far too quickly, but I have only one question remaining. I take off my seatbelt and turn to her. Has this experience inspired you to write more? The intense expression fades away. Her face is suddenly as bright as the Californian sky. Yes, I have so many more things I want to write. Cover shot by Kai Z Fung, styled by Charlotte Stockdale. This article originally appeared in the September issue of LUK.